Hello friends, hello, 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 good to see you. I am Karen Joseph with Seven Networking. Good morning, it is still morning here in Arizona. Hello, hello. I'm gonna flip this around in a second, just showing you a little bit around the Seven website. Manifesting Mojo, welcome. Loves Arizona, oh, my friend Lori Schaefer. Hello, hello, good to see you, honey. Good morning, good morning. I'm Karen Joseph with Seven Networking. Let me flip this around. You can see me. Hey, hey, hey. Hi, Lenny. Nice topic. I just mentioned this to my ladies. It is important. Hi, everyone. Hello, Carolyn. Glad to see you have your picture there. Michelle, thank you. Good evening from the UK. Fabulous. Good morning, Lori. You have your picture there. Yay! Get to see your smiling face. Hello from Tempe, finally catching you live, yay! I know we have a lot of friends in common, so that is super cool. You were in prison, oh, well, you know what? We're gonna send you to the block party, block user. Okay, that's how it's done. Oops, that are trolls, just send them off to the block party. All right, everyone, thank you for those hearts. I am Karen Joseph with Seven Networking. We are going to talk about a topic that is near and dear to my heart today, as it is for many of you. I know it seems very elementary, but the topic is follow-up. I keep doing something crazy here. Okay, here I'm back. I keep trying to block people and getting rid of those trolls and clicking you guys off. So welcome, welcome. I am Karen Joseph with Seven Networking. We are a networking organization for entrepreneurs like yourselves. I know some of my Seven Networking members are on here now. So give me some hearts, guys. Um, it's always great to see you. Just tap, tap, tap on that screen. You can invite friends if you want, invite followers. Share this on Twitter if you so desire. Thank you for those hearts. Hello, Miss Susan. More trolls than in The Hobbit. Exactly. We are, so we have networking meetings uh, weekly, live, and also virtually. So we do have a virtual meeting tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern. I would love to invite all of my friends who are not here in Arizona to hop on that. If you would like an invite, please just send me your email. Hi, Lenny. Good to see you. Lenny from Las Vegas. He's a beach body coach. He's fabulous. What a great man. So if you'd like to come to a 7 Networking meeting tonight, virtually right in front of your computer, you don't even have to leave your house. You can be wearing your pajamas, right? You can just be wearing a shirt on top, nothing on the bottom, shorts, whatever you like. Send me your email so we can invite you. You can just type it in here or you can send it um, on Twitter, I'm at 7 Networking, or you can, oh, I have food there, silly me, or if you're in Turkey, you can come to anywhere, or you can send me an email to info at 7s-e-v-e-n.org. You will meet entrepreneurs from all over the world. We have members from Australia, from New Zealand, from all wonderful, wonderful um, places all over the world. Coach Alicia, hello, and lots of members in the United States, too. How you doing, honey? We are going to be talking about follow-up today, right? The fortune is in the follow-up. California's in the house. That's my friend Brad. Brad, tell everyone what you do, because this is, I support entrepreneurs, I want people to get to know you, know what you do so they can connect with you and get to know you. All right, friends? The fortune is in the follow-up. So, this may seem, seem very elementary. Hello from Florida. Tell us your name, please. You have a pretty picture of the back of your hair there. Very gorgeous. The fortune is in the follow-up, right? We hear it over and over and over again. Hey, Lori. Yes, Tag Tribes. Tag Tribes. If you're a member of Tag Tribes... Give us a thumbs up. That is, um, Brad is a business consultant. Yes, fabulous. Hello, hello, Michelle. All right, let me get on because I get so sidetracked. I have ADD when it comes here to uh, Periscope. I want to welcome everyone. I want to make everyone feel comfortable. So um, that's what I do. Yes, hot topic today, and it's sizzling out there in Phoenix, Arizona today. <laughs> so let's get on with the topic. All right, the fortune is in the follow-up, right? Think about it. You go to networking events. 
You meet people. You might meet people in the supermarket. You might meet people on the soccer field, right? When your kids are playing soccer. You might meet people sitting by the pool. What do you do after you meet them? Do you just go home? You make this great connection with them, right? This fabulous connection, you think, oh my, I'm going to get a new client, a new customer. You go home. What do you do next? What do you guys do next? Do you follow up? How do you follow up? Let's hear it. Let's hear how you follow up with those people because I have some statistics for you. And you know what? A little secret. Most people never, ever, ever follow up. Never. And then you lose that client for life. Think about it. You're real excited. The person is excited about meeting you. I like that. Call or email. Yes. I do like calling. Hello, Tag Tribes. LinkedIn is great, too. Let's, yeah, let's talk about all those ways. All right, calling is fabulous. I love to call people. Um, I also like to Skype. Coach Alicia and I Skyped yesterday because we're new friends from Periscope. That is great. Call it. Make it personal. That's the thing. You have to make it personal. If you're sending an email, make it personal, right? If you're connecting with them on LinkedIn, Please don't send that little standard thing that you send to everyone. It was great connecting with you on LinkedIn or Twitter because that's not personal. When I get ones like that, I say to myself, you know what? That person doesn't have the time for me. They don't want to get to know me, and I just forget about them. Yes, compliment them too. Start building that relationship, right? If you send a card in the mail, like my friend Mark Schaefer, he's with Send Out Cards, Yes, always use the first name if they have provided it. Very, very, very good idea. Um, make it personal. Send out cards is fabulous for that. Or get some cards. Hello, we just met on Aaron Scope. Nice to meet you, Chef Mel. Um, send out cards is fabulous because you can personalize it. It's also great, you know, if you want to just write handwritten notes and send those. That is fabulous too. Mark, we need to get your face on there. You got to get rid of that egghead. So sending personal notes in the mail, wonderful idea. Think about it. People don't get mail, happy mail anymore. So when they get a card from you, a letter, I have a send out card right here. I could show you that one of our seven members sent us from um, New Zealand. Isn't that cool? That was a picture from one of our virtual meetings. Yes, we all love happy mail. There we are. That's what the virtual meetings look like. If you want to come on a virtual meeting tonight, just send me your email. Isn't that cool? I was so excited to get this because I never get stuff in the mail except all this junk that's piling up everywhere. So yes, personal notes. Personal notes to your host. That is fabulous. Personal calls. Or if you have to do it, personal emails. That is fine too. That's right. We get bills. What do we get in the mail? We get a stack of bills and then we're like, oh, another bill. Wouldn't it be nice to get a card in the mail like this? Send out cards? Yes, junk mail. Or write your own cards or postcards. That's a fabulous idea. But make it personal. Handwrite notes, never type or word process. Yes. And the cool thing about send out cards is you can type in what you want. You can even have your own um, your own print on there. This is my friend Kate from New Zealand. Isn't that cool? So send out cards is neat. Uh, my friend Mark is on this scope this morning. Hugs in the mail. Please follow him. You can connect with him. I'm sure he will send you some happy mail, which is really neat. He sends hugs in the mail. So yes, calls are great. Emails are great. Um, as long as you make it personal. Send out cards is also very inexpensive. Yes, like a buck something for a wonderful personalized card. Thank you, Brad, for adding that. Um, so get in touch with the people, right? Get in touch with the people that you're meeting because if you connect with people at networking events or anywhere you go and then you start building that rapport with them, you see that you have something in common, they have a service that, you know, or you provide a service or a product that they really want, don't let it go, right? Don't just let it go. You have to follow up with them. You have to, have to, have to. I have some statistics here. Who here likes to hear statistics, all right? My daughter is, she loves statistics. So here goes. I volunteer on a steam railroad from the, oh, it, that is very cool. Very, very cool. All right. Statistics. Here is the reality. 48% of sales people never follow up with a prospect. Frugal web guy, 
48% of people never follow up with a prospect. Do you follow up with your prospects, frugal web guy? 25% of salespeople make a second contact and then stop. So think about that. They make two contacts and then they stop. But you know what? Very, 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 very often you have to make more and more and more contacts. Thumbs up to you, frugal web guy. What's your name, please? Let us know because I don't think you've been on my scopes before. So 25% of all salespeople make the second contact and then they stop. Hi, Patty. How are you? 75% of emails are never read. I so reported. That's true also. Mike, nice to meet you. So if you're sending emails, you have a car with those stats on your desk. Very good, Brad. If you're sending those emails, you might want to think of another way of following up. Possibly just picking up the phone and calling someone or sending them a card in the mail or asking to do a Skype with them. Skype is huge. You can see their face. They can see your face. You can really get to know each other. 12% of salespeople only make three contacts, three contacts and then stop. And only 10%, that is such a small number, 10% of salespeople make more than three contacts. 10%. That is teeny, weeny, 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 weeny. All right? Now, back for more. Only, only 2% of sales are made on the first contact. Think about that. You meet someone, they might be excited about your service or your product, but it's very, very, very rare that they are going to, you're going to get that sale on that first contact. Only 2%. That is minute. That is like nothing. 3% of sales are made on the second contact. Think about that. That's still teeny, 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 teeny. I hate it when salespeople contact me and spoof their phone number. Oh, I hate that too. Or how about when they call you from India and they have a phone number that's like here in Georgia? And I'm like, no, that's, that's wrong. That is just crazy. 5% <laughs> of sales are made on the third contract. Hello, good morning, good morning. We're talking about the fortune is in the follow-up. 10% of sales are made on the fourth contact. And a big whopping, can you guys guess what percentage of sales are made on the fifth to 12 contact? Let me see some percentages here. Who's got an idea? What percentage of sales are made on the fifth to 12 contact? You guys have any idea? 56%, 5%, 20%, those are fabulous guesses, great guesses. Brad, you got it. 80% of sales are made on the 5th to 12th contact. 80%. Three contacts a day, two bookings a week, one join your team a month. You, will, you That's right. You will keep you in business. So you have to follow up. It is key. It is key, 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 key. I never ever buy from phone calls where people won't give full company details. Well, yeah, if you, that's your right. If you want to hear more about their company, you just tell them, right? And you know what I do with follow-up? Because I really try to keep on it. I keep it on my calendar, certain people that I have to follow up with different, you know, at different days. If I contact someone about coming to a seven networking meeting and they say, oh, I can't come until the beginning of September, I put that on my calendar. So I know to invite them the beginning of September. The calendar works great for those kind of things. So remember, you have to follow up, right? So what does that teach you? You need to follow up in every situation, don't let anyone go. Most of my clients contact me first, but how do you get them to contact? Well, that's very good. You're out there on Periscope now, so you can tell them how to contact you, right? People who are watching your scopes and they're liking what you're teaching and they want to get in touch with you. You can't physically come to their house, though, and say, contact me, you know? <laughs> I give out my email, my information, but you're right, they don't always do it. Send a card. That's right, you can send a card if you have their address. Sending a card is great because it's something they can keep and they'll always have your, your information. You always send thank you cards. That is wonderful. That makes people feel so good. I often have callers say they know my company's owner. Yes, they try, they try to get to exactly. How do you, how do you get closer to home? Oh, thanks, Patty. What do you mean by how to get closer to home? 
So informative. You know what? It's my passion, teaching entrepreneurs, helping entrepreneurs. I'm a teacher turned entrepreneur with 7 Networking. We do have a 7 Networking virtual meeting tonight. I would love for all of you to come on just to experience and see what 7 Networking is about. Um, if you want to come, you can just type in your email right here. And promise we won't spam you. We'll just invite you to the meeting tonight. It is 8 p.m. Eastern. 8 p.m. Eastern. You knew I was a teacher? <laughs> Once a teacher, always a teacher, right? My mom is a teacher. My brother's a teacher. My son, who's 12, just said that he would like to um, be a teacher. Mine is more Maryland. That's where I'm licensed. Okay, so you want to meet people in Maryland. Do you go to networking events, Susan, in Maryland? Too late for the UK, perhaps. 8 p.m. Eastern, yes. We do have a morning meeting as well, Monday morning. So that might work better for you. But um, our virtual meetings are three times a week. Yes, that's a great way. I would get out there, meet some people in your area. Because when you start building those relationships, then people want to um, want to come and help you. How do you find networking events? Oh, that's a great question. You can find networking events on meetup.com. Meetup.com is a great way to find networking events. You can also Google it. You can also reach out to your friends who are in business and see what kind of networking, yes, meetup.com, see what kind of networking events are in your area. We have all of our seven networking meetings on meetup.com. Um, we're looking to start more in other states, so that's exciting. So Susan, if that's something you might be interested in and possibly being a leader in your area, um, please reach out to me because... I would love to chat with you. We could do a Skype. I could tell you what it entails. Um, and that would be really cool. Yes, 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 yes. Also check your local women-owned biz organizations. Yes. There's tons of networking meetings out there. And that's what's so cool. I always say there's a different meeting for each person because some people like, you know, very strict, rigid meetings. Some people like to, like our seven networking meetings are all about building relationships and we do a lot of education because, as you know, that's my background. I'm a teacher. I want you to learn. I want you to pull some nugget from the meetings, from the topic that will help to propel you forward in your business. Ah, the golf course. And you don't play golf? Well, <laughs> maybe you could learn. Maybe they'll teach you how to play golf, right? You never know. That might be fun. Um, but yes, check local, you know, Google things, go to meetup.com. Meetup.com is a fabulous, fabulous resource for networking and all kinds of meetings or ask some of your friends who are in the area. My handicap, <laughs> maybe you can get someone to carry the clubs for you <laughs> in the clubhouse in the 19th hall, haha, <laughs> over drinks, right? <laughs> Oh, you guys are funny today. Well, yes. Yeah. So who is going to leave the scope and do some follow-up? I want to hear it. Send me hearts if you're going to get off and do some follow-up. Follow-up is key. Yay. One heart. That's not good enough. I want to see more. Follow-up is key. You're getting out there. Good, Brad. You're meeting those people. You're meeting those people. You need to follow up with them. B. Hirsch one. What is your name, please? I don't think I've seen you on any of my scopes before. I don't drink. You're, I don't drink either. But you could follow. Betsy. Hi, Betsy. Where are you located, Betsy? Maybe I can help you find a networking meeting in your area. And tell us what you do too, Betsy, because I love helping entrepreneurs. It's my passion. And um, Betsy, Betsy, where do you live and what do you do? So, yes. So, get out there. Meet people, do the follow-up. Remember, it could take 5 to 12 times. Dayton, Ohio. Lenny is following up today. Yay, Lenny is a wonderful beach body coach. You should see what shape he's in, Mr. Lenny. Peterborough, UK. Oh, Young Living Essential Oils. I have some oils. You live in the sticks. Well, that's why you need to come to a virtual 7 networking meeting. Um, that was one of the reasons why I started the virtual meetings because people were telling me, I live in the sticks. There's no networking near me. I want to come to a seven meeting. So that's how the virtual meetings were started. Um, and we do have members. We have a member from New Zealand. We have one from Australia. We just have great, 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 neat people. So yes, 
Uh, me too. But I go to networking meetings, then I do one-to-one -one on Skype. Yes, exactly, exactly, exactly. Skype is great. I mean, think how fortunate we are in this day and age. We have Skype. We have Periscope now. Um, blab. I haven't even blabbed yet because I just am loving Periscope. But so many ways of meeting people. I get lots of customers who first meet me when they visit where, well, that's fabulous. Yes, joining an organization, volunteering. You can get customers anywhere. It does not have to be a networking event, right? It does not have to be networking. As I always say, it can be in the supermarket. It could be at your kid's soccer game. It could be anywhere. You could be at the pool, you know? You can be at synagogue, at church, anywhere. Start talking to people, Betsy. Tell them about the oils. You know what's really great, Betsy? I have a great tip for you. Do you wear the oils? Wear some of the oils on you. Brad goes to Kiwanis. Or yes, Kiwanis, Lions, Rotary. Wear those oils, Betsy. And then people will come up to you and they'll be like, oh, you smell so good. That's a perfect opener for you, Betsy. You can say, oh, I'm with, young, I'm with essential oils, Young Living Essential Oils. Have you heard about them? And they could say yes, they could say no. If they say, you know, if they get excited and they want to hear more, that's your perfect, perfect opening. So you have a great product there that you can sell to people anywhere, right? I have some oils right here, right on my desk. Love the oils. If you want to hear more about oils, get together with Betsy. Betsy, Betsy in Dayton, Ohio. Betsy, I'm going to follow you when I get off this scope because um, oils are great. Okay, is your blog, although not for my business, I get contacts through that. Fabulous. All right, friends, I have to hop off now, going to uh, visit my mama in the hospital. Women in the Zone, we were talking about follow-up today. Thank you for joining. You can catch the replay. And um, I, do, I scope two or three or four times a day. Hello. I think you're new to one of my scopes. Um, you can follow me at 7networking. I'm also on Twitter at 7networking, and I would love to connect with you. Any women in the zone, men in the zone, entrepreneurs in the zone. Are you doing your scopes, women in the zone? And what's your name? I'm going to follow you too. Sounds great. Let me click on you. View profile. Oh, okay. Following you now. Fabulous. I am following you now. Grace, nice to meet you, Grace. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Thank you for joining me. I will be definitely scoping later. Um, I love Periscope. It's a great way to meet new people. But remember, hi, Steve. Remember, after you meet people on Periscope or anywhere, supermarket, soccer field, pool, tennis court, you need to follow up with them. Have a great day. Bye, Steve. You know what? You need to catch the uh, the replay because I am hopping off now. Got to go visit my mama. All right, Steve, Brad, kisses to everyone. Hugs. See you all later. Bye-bye. Bye, Grace. I'll see you later. You can watch the replay. All right? And I'll be checking out some of your scopes, too, when you start doing them. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.